Hello everyone and welcome to the Low Budget Otaku and today we're going to take a look at Ram Beautiful Ram from Figma Now this is the first time I'm going to review a Figma figure but for those who don't know they're very close to Revoltex but even smaller but even more detailed and more anime accurate Today we're going to take a look at a figure that comes from ReZero on the best shows of 2016 and that's Ram Best girl, Ram. So let's take a look at his beautiful cutie. She's so fluffy, so cute. I just feel like... So, let's take a look. We have our beautiful Figma box. Now, these are very standard. They always have the number of the Figma figure. They have a lot of codes. They have some beautiful poses in the back. As you can see, there's RAM also, but I don't have that figure, so I cannot review that, at least not yet. Then we have a lot of tons of accessories, let's take a look, I don't know where to start. This little stand will come later, let's first start by this plastic bag that all Figma figures come, so you can put all the accessories. Now, I'm going to take her from her stand, we have our Figma stand that also is very important. She doesn't stand very well on her own because she has very tiny feet. So yes, this stand, beautiful stand, is essential to stand her up and put it into amazing action poses. It's very articulated and you have this little adapter to even improve a little bit how you stand her. So, oh, okay, there you go. Just plug it in and there you go. A lot of points of articulation, a lot of inches. Perfect for great action poses. Then we have her tray, because she's a mate, so she has all this beautiful, very detailed tray. Gorgeous. Then we have different faces, so let's take a look. We have the angry, crazy, demonic face. We have this little shy face and very sad looking face. They're so beautiful, they really look like they came from the anime. Great paint job, great detail. This is where Figmas really stand out, the amazing faces. Then we have a lot of hands, a lot of hands. We have actually, let me count, nine different hands and a tenth hand that connects with the other Figma, our sister Ram. So we have here the beautiful smiley blushing face with her normal hair and let's look at the hands we have some pose hands that are great for holding the tray we have some simple uh, extended hand then we have the same from the other sides we have some fist hands some grammy hands for both sides a pointy hand just for the left hand and of course the one with the uh, both hands together for her sister See? I hope one day I can get to run. Uh, beautiful hands, overall. Then we have a uh, different hair with the horn for that angry face. Then we also have the ball and chain. Now, this actually has two parts. So the ball and chain with the metal chain that is loose. It, that, this one is very easy to pull out. And then you have another one for an action pose that is harder to pull out because it's plastic. So I wouldn't advise to put too much in or else you may actually rip it off. But then you have this little stand for the ball so you can put in amazing action poses. Let's look at a mechanism to change the face, shall we? So. 
we have first to remove the hairpiece carefully and that pops off and then the face itself pops up very easily great mechanism even though it can be a little bit scary let's then put the face in and then the air again and we have happy ram very easily normal in this kind of figures in relation to this ball and chain again uh, try to avoid putting this one very much in because I don't advise I think that I feel a little bit the plastic ripping off some sanding of the connector may help fix the problem but again the ball and chain one with the metallic is easier to fit than the one with the plastic but overall great accessory I think now is a good time to look at our articulation Figmas are well known for great articulation and this is different We have, I think it's a double ball bang on the head allows for great range of motion, completely free Then we have a ball hinge in the shoulder section Great articulation just limited a little bit by the dress that doesn't allow too much to come up Then we have a very tight swivel in the bicep Then we have this ball hinge in the elbow allows great range of motion just don't uh, get the wrong way the dress will tell you the right way then we have also a ball hinge in the hands so great range of motion then we have I think it's a ball hinge in the torso great a little bit of a half crunch whoa then don't look at the panties you perfect decent spread considering the dress limits then we have a tie swivel that waist also is a little bit of a connection I'm not sure which one then we have actually a normal ball hinge in the knee and a ball hinge in the feet but there's no toe bend that limits a little bit the feet are very small so it limits a little bit the articulation by the way there's some spots on that shoe so it's not just boot legs that have pain problems but overall great articulation especially for the figure that it is so you can get amazing poses with it again if there's something that figma figures are known for is great articulation great painting and very good anime accuracy just gorgeous look at that cuteness look at that face just make sure not to piss her off or shit on her. Or else. What more can I say about this beautiful figure? If you're a ReZero fan, you're definitely going to love this. And again, I'm very surprised with Figma's quality. But what about its size? Figma Saitama Revoltech Fully Drillized Kuran Lagan Neka Dante Bandai Real Great Gundam Red Astray Play Art Sky Darth Vader Revoltech Deadpool She may be a little bit of the small size, but the articulation, pulsability, accessories, and detail. Sure, make up for it. This figure was released in October, so you can still find it in some stores like Obi Link and Obi Search at a decent price of 45 euros. But don't forget that buying outside of Japan, you can also have to pay taxes. Still, with that price point in mind and with everything this figure comes with, she's still getting my low budget otaku seal of approval. As always, I'm going to leave you guys with some pictures of the figure itself. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share if you truly love me. Or at least love Rab, because Rab is love.
Though I can only imagine how it is to be with you.